It spent a year swabbing whole fresh supermarket chickens for the bacterium Campylobacter. Now the Food Standards Agency has released its final results. The bug, which causes at best a lingering tummy upset, at worst permanent disability or death, was found in nearly three quarters of the birds we bring home to roast. In the raw chicken contamination charts, it's less a question of who's the cleanest, more who's the least dirty. Out in front, it's Tesco's, but 66%, that's two thirds of their birds, tested positive for Campylobacter. M&S and Sainsbury's were slightly worse, coming in just under 70%. Then it's Waitrose and Morrison's, with around three quarters of chickens carrying the bug. Then those supermarkets with smaller market share, the low cost ones, nearly 77% contamination. Nearly last, co-op with 78%. And at the bottom of the tummy bug league table, it's Asda, with four out of five birds testing positive. It beggars belief that three quarters of our chickens are still infected with this potentially deadly bug. And I think consumers will be asking yet again, what is it that the supermarkets and the whole of the supply chain is doing to rapidly put this right and give people the safe chicken that they expect and deserve. Speaking of chickens, not one of the seven big supermarkets were able to put forward a spokesperson on the issue of Campylobacter when we asked them today. However, all gave us statements detailing the efforts they have made reducing the bug in the supply chain. Many are now using things like this ultrasound and steam technology to kill bacteria on the surface of fresh chickens before packing. However, ask the FSA and they'll tell you these efforts only started in earnest after they decided to name individual supermarkets Campbell are back to scores. So in that respect, we feel our survey is successful because it is achieving the objective of creating an, uh, an environment that the industry actually want to uh, develop new interventions. So they were being complacent? I, I think that's not unfair. Yes, to say that. Is the industry taking this seriously? What are they doing? Oh, absolutely. The industry is investing tens of millions of pounds in a whole suite of developments, right from on-farm biosecurity, changes in the way the poultry are processed, changes in the way the poultry is packaged, and also advice to consumers. So there's a whole suite of interventions underway. Uh, and as we've seen today in the report from the Food Standards Agency, we're getting some early signs that they are really beginning to bear fruit in terms of reducing the incidence of Campylobacter. All that money the industry is spending is likely to be passed on to us, the consumer. Would you pay more for a safer chicken? I will definitely, because it's even better for me to pay more and get my health intact. I would, I would. Thinking I've got young children as well, it'd be safer for them to have as well as the rest of my family. I think most people would actually. But then they shouldn't have to. You see, if you buy food, it should be of a reputable quality, shouldn't it? We consumers must do our bit, storing, handling and cooking chicken carefully. But most shoppers will rightly ask why supermarkets compete so well on price, but need prodding to compete on safety.